When asked why Jack and Ben are heroes, I think it's predominantly because they are incredibly resilient. When the boys were born, they were both born with club feet. They had casts on every two weeks to reposition their feet. And then they had that a number of times as they are growing up. They both love sports. And to this day, you know, they, they played sports through middle school with the recreational leagues and they never gave up. They played so hard. They just do it with a smile. And I think the most amazing thing is that they have an immense amount of gratitude. That's why Jack and Ben are heroes to me. Zoe is a hero because she couldn't walk for the longest time. And she took her first steps when she was two years and two months. I put two chairs from a kitchen cabinet to a chair and she walked and kind of fell into that chair. It was like two steps. And that for me was like, you know, the best day of my life because I was told she would never walk. I knew that she was going to be, you know, an amazing little kid and she was brought up into this world where she faced many challenges, but she's an inspiration every day. We were told she would never walk, and now I'm running after her, so she's a true hero. I equate hero with courage, and um, I think he's courageous every morning when he wakes up, and he puts on his shirt, however long that takes, and he decides he's going to fully live his life today with all that he has. And I see that every day, and he's there for our family. He's here for other people, not just himself. That's courageous to me. She never stops. She always keeps trying. She never complains about it. She just keeps going. Got a smile on her face and always happy to see people and people are happy to see her. He is so inventive and so thoughtful. How can I help? And he gets, I think, a lot of enjoyment out of helping, and that's worth its weight in gold. I think my mom's here because she does so much for me and tries to make my life easy and make everything work that I want to do. And I think much more importantly than, than that actually is just her unwavering support and commitment. She's really the one who's picking me up, telling me, you know, I'm, I'm right here with you and the whole family is with you. Scientists of the myotonic dystrophy community are heroes because these are people who are genuinely passionate about understanding this disease and being able to bring that understanding into the development of new therapies and treatments. For them, research in myotonic dystrophy is not just something theoretical. He's always made me feel like I'm a partner in this disease. I think doctors or people in my talk just fear heroes because they know so much about those people and they keep on putting out more and more research and keep on working for cures. I'm so lucky to be surrounded by these people who have their hearts so into their jobs it's it's hard to imagine. It's they're great. It's wonderful to see how much doctors have learned now and how much the foundation, I think, has helped inform doctors and people about the disease. Before I went to the first conference, I have never met anybody outside of my family who has myotonic dystrophy. And I was actually scared going there because I, you know, I didn't know what to expect. And it turned out to be so encouraging and empowering. The people who work at the foundation have developed deep expertise. They've really become partners in the process of trying to improve care for myotonic dystrophy. I actually mean people whose input we actively seek in order to make decisions about what to do next. You know, the Myotonic Dystrophy uh, Foundation is really a jewel. It's something really special for 
patients, and researchers. The foundation helped bring together people from industry and who were doing research in universities and in the government, people who regulate medications, so that they could start the conversation of how to get a better treatment for myotonic dystrophy. So, you know, it's, it's really not hard to, to realize that the Myotonic Dystrophy Foundation is a hero. It's, it's a hero to all of us who care about the treatment of patients with myotonic dystrophy and their cure. There are many heroes in the myotonic dystrophy community. First, the patients and the caregivers. Second, the doctors and the researchers, the Myotonic Dystrophy Foundation, where the staff come to work every day fighting towards better care and a cure for the disease. And then finally, to all our supporters who've made all of this possible. Thank you so much.